What's going on, people? I'd like to welcome you guys to a spoiler filled one take review of Justice League. As you guys know, I watched went saw Justice League last night. Absolutely loved it. Now, this is the point where we are going to dive into the spoilers, also the mid and post credit scene. So, if you have not seen Justice League, I advise you get your ass to the movies. Go watch this movie. Do not. Believe everything you hear. Go in and watch this movie for yourself. Cause I guarantee you, this is a movie that will have different perspectives. And there's a lot of things. If you're just going in for a good good time, this movie is guaranteed to give you that. So go out and go check it out. Let's dive into some. Of, let me just dive into some of the parts I fucking love. For one, let, let me get right into some of the biggest stuff. The the backstory on Steppenwolf, the the fact that we he's actually been to Earth before and tried to take it over, but the fact that the Amazons, the fucking the fucking Atlanteans, humans, fucking gods, uh, Green Lanterns, there was like two. I seen two Green Lanterns for sure fight in that fight. One of them got killed by Steppenwolf, okay? Because uh, this the Steppenwolf when he swing that motherfucking axe at you, that you better get out the way. He was bringing the Force that the listen the the kid the, them playing that whole thing and then the fact that I enjoyed it so much because it didn't make it look they seven Wolf eventually technically lost that but I like the fact that like no I'm not through fighting if they had to call it back like bro we lost like we have to get the fuck away and he's just still no this is this is not over. That's what I think I liked about Steppenwolf, the fact that he was just like, I, I don't care how it seems for me, I'm going in, I'm going to whip somebody's ass. Really fucked with that. Uh, also, with that that whole thing, one of the Green Lines dying, we seen like this green for away. So we probably get like some, and, and like the Green Lantern, you gotta just think about it. You look at the Green Lantern, it looks good. Like the whole suit and everything looks good. So I can't wait to see a Green Lantern in the future. Also, the Steppenwolf playing keep with the, the the Amazonia is playing keep away with the the mother box. It that was a dope ass sequence, and I I promise you, like if you, well, of course you've seen if you're watching this spoiler review, that scene with him just going he I'm thinking they weren't gonna show him necessarily hitting girls in the chest with his fucking hammer. I mean his fucking uh his, his axe. He coming right across the chest with it. Boom! I'm like damn. This is what this Aaron Judge like, dog. This boy Steppenwolf was not playing any games. I love the, I love the, uh, the Demoscare. I love the, uh, the, the, the Amazons, and the, the, like, bunch of beautiful, strong women, right? and not just strong to the sense of strength wise, but strong to the sense of just them as, a, as people. Loved it so much, but the fact that Steppenwolf was in they ass, I can't get like he said, You all will love me, you all will love me. I'm like, Damn, still, like, I, I, and, and I don't think I heard another line. It was like, Steppenwolf, I, from, from what I get, Steppenwolf was, was banished from Apocalypse, he was banished, and, and I think he was trying to take over Earth in order to show, like, yo. I'm still, I'm still a guy for you, Dark Side. But we never got to see Dark Side. I wish this. This is what I wanted to see so bad. At the end, when Steppenwolf got sucked back through the boom tube, and he, I wanted to see him land back on uh, Apocalypse. And I didn't even have to see Dark Side face. Dark Side could have been turned around, and be like send me back. And, and Steppenwolf could have been saying something like send me back, send me back. All the while, Dark Side not even facing him. I can defeat them. I can defeat them. Next thing you know, his gamma, his gamma beam, boom, 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 and then boom, blast Steppenwolf would be killing. Dog, that would have been fucking epic. Do y'all understand how epic that would have been if that would happen? I probably would have left the movie and had to go back and finish watching the rest another day because that part right there would have been overkill for me, okay? But we didn't get that, so well, it's all good, though. It's all good. All right, what we got was still great. Uh, the Wonder Woman scene when she was saving the people when she was blocking the machine gun with her fucking bracelets. 
dog. You can't tell me. I was in there about to bust a nut, dog. I was loving that shit. Uh, Batman, the first time, and like, you see Batman, he, 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 now, this is one thing I don't think anybody else noticed, but the fact that when Batman had the guy tied up, and then he pulled him back just to, just to capture the parademon, <laughs> people don't realize the fact that Batman jumped on a parademon, and they went flying, or through, through like, flying from, like, other buildings, and when it was over, the, the guy that Batman had tied up hopped around the corner, even though they I'm pretty sure they was on another building at the time. That was funny. I don't think anybody else noticed it, but Aha noticed it and pointed out. I'm like, man, that did just happen. I love the stuff between Cyborg and his father. And then the the, the reveal at the end, the how his how his uh what's now he's gonna look now? How his uh how I don't say how his body gonna look now basically is like it's like from the New 52. Well, not the New 52. Well, you can say the New 52 and the Rebirth issue is how... Because, like, it basically... Basically, this cyborg was like a rough draft. Not like him, the character, but like his uh the, his appearance. But then towards the end, you see it's, it's getting to, like, the cyborg that we know. And I was like, fuck, God, shit. I wish that would have happened, like, midway through the movie. But also, cyborg got his ass fucking megatron and Jazz, you ever seen? If you ever seen Transformers, the first one, you know what I'm talking about. And Jazz was shooting at Megatron. He was just like, "You want a piece of me?" And he was like, "No, I want two. That nigga stepping with the hit. The first he hit him with the hammer. I mean, the fucking axe right there. I'm just looking like, damn, he came with the force. He lucky he sliced it completely off. He would hit. Listen, he <laughs> he would have hit that man on top of the head. That would have been a rabbit because this brain is going everywhere. He wasn't gonna be nothing but a robot after that." Then he broke him in half. Uh, I, I, oh, one of the best scenes in this thing was was a uh, was a uh, Batman with Bruce Wayne versus uh, Wonder Woman. And I did the little, the little back and forth. When he was like, "Hey, the Steve Trevor," to I'm like, "Damn, you going dude? That's a low blow. That is." That is a fucking low boat blow, Batman. Like, why is you coming to her like that? Talking about you know, my dead boyfriend. Like, that's fucked up. I'm like, if she would have said, oh, what about Jason Todd, nigga? I would have I would have stood up in the motherfucking movie like, hey, wait a minute. Y'all need to calm the fuck down. Listen, y'all need to Because she would have broke out the Jason Todd car. It gets real after that. But like, I like how they seem like it was turmoil between the people. Also, another scene I loved a lot with with uh, Cyborg and and Barry Allen digging up Superman's grave and just a little back and forth between them. I loved so much of the back and forth between the characters, Aquaman and Mira. Even though we only got a little like, glimpse of Mira, and she's dying there trying to whoop Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf, Steppenwolf would be the woman. That's, I'm sorry, Steppenwolf do not mind him the female whatsoever. He, I think he really enjoys it more than anything. Him down there fighting Mira Mira is such a strong character. And then we just really, and, and what, I think a lot of people were kind of like, you know, Aquaman's backstory so fast. His mother is the queen of Atlantis. She left him with his father. He never wanted to hear from her again. Like, it, oh, oh, you might have wanted to see it flushed out more, but would you want to see it flashback? Shit, you you got it right there. And Mira's like, wait, you know, that's I love the two. She took me. I, I'm like, yes, oh, no. I, I, excuse me, because I'm pretty hyped. I guess I'm really hyped for talking about this fucking movie. Because I guess I, 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 the more I talk about, it, the more I enjoy. It. Especially when I get to talk about spoilers, because I can really dive into everything. You now the motherfucking scene still. Everybody says Flash was a scene still. I'm sorry, dog. This is probably one of my least favorite characters. But fucking Super... Listen, Super, I'm not a huge Superman fan. I like the character. It's just I'm more of a Batman, Batman guy because like I like this whole, this whole thing. Superman kind of... I, I relate more to Batman even though I'm broke and he's a big now. But I kind of relate more to like the, the character traits of Batman. <sighs> Superman, I never relate to. But when that son of a bitch woke up, and Aquaman heart started beating fast. And Cyborg pulled a fucking <coughs> Cyborg pulled a blue beetle in his where his like the, his tech pretty much took control of him and, and started to defend. 
Dog, Superman, I ain't never seen Superman go that hard in my life. He whooped everybody. You know why Batman stayed out of it at first? Baby, like, shit, I'll be there in a minute. Wonder, and listen, we have seen that Wonder Woman and Superman can go at it, but we pretty much got like, yo, he's not playing. Even though he was fight, pretty much fighting differently, they weren't fighting to kill him, I'm gonna give him that, but shit, he still, they still got their ass dominated. Dama the fuck made it. He had but a Wonder Woman. She had but in back. He said, Oh, you think you something? This man flew up, brought the pressure to her. Wonder Woman never seems to get hurt, though. She might just, uh, for a little bit, but she never really hurt. Aquaman was shaking back. Flat, but when he, when Cyborg was in his face, Aquaman on his one arm, and Wonder Woman on one arm, and then Flash thought he was going to get to him. And I just like, he bet not. He bet not. And he looked at the flash. Everybody in the movie, I swear, everybody in the movie theater, oh shit. Like it was a it was a big, not a big gas. It was a big cry. Well, oh shit. <laughs> and like the look on Ezra Miller's flash's face, dog, was priceless. He was like, no, he shouldn't be able to do this. <laughs> like, this is not what I signed up for. That shit was great. And, and ooh, the callback. He said, when Batman said, the world needs you, they don't need you. And then he said, do you bleed? I he pulled my guy. Listen, y'all know I'm a huge Batman fan, so I was kind of finna play. The Batman really didn't get a lot of dubs. This is also the second movie where Batman do not fight the main villain. He didn't want to fight Doomsday. He didn't want to fight Steppenwolf. Y'all gonna have to get at my boy Batman. Don't act like my boy Batman ain't really just whoop motherfuckers before. I'm getting tired of these supernatural people really, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna have to, when Darkseid get here, y'all gonna have to eject my boy with some kind of like super strength real quick so he can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Darkseid or something. I, I, I can't keep having these big bads come down. My boy Batman not really into the fight. He just fighting off our fucking parademons. And the fact that when they got to that part, He's ready to sacrifice himself just so they can get to the mother box. And one of the ones was like, nah, I ain't gonna roll like that, Bruce. We gotta save you. We, we're doing this together. I gotta see. Oh, God, did Superman beat the fuck out of Steppenwolf? I'm sorry. That wasn't even a contest. That was not even a contest. Also, they never said the the no lanterns, you know, no Kryptonian. They never said that line in the movie. There was a couple things that went in the movie. The, the Jeremy Irons, he was like, hey, uh, I'm here. Uh, well, um, he said you'd come. Just hope you're not too late. That wasn't in the movie. A couple other scenes are from the trailer that weren't in the movie, I guess. I mean, all the cuts, the some stuff got to be cut out. But that was, they just actually, I think they just like, kind of changed that scene, though. Because when Superman came, I, I mean, uh, what's the name? was actually in, like, the Batcave, I think. And in the trailers, he was in, he was outside working on a car. So I think... That made more sense. The words ending. I don't think he would be working on one of Bruce Wayne's cars. Uh, that was dope. Damn, I'm going through everything in this movie because I can. I mean, it was so quick, and you can get into every damn thing that happened in this movie. Uh, let me think of what else. Uh, sh shit. I guess... Yeah, the, the ending made sense. That the whole the whole storyline made sense to me because you know you know the history of the mother boxes. They are powerful things. I love the fact that we got to see uh, the the Amazons fight, uh, some of the pair of demons. Uh, Aquaman really Aquaman. And listen, Aquaman was losing to Steppenwolf in the beginning, but once they fell down to like like the ground level, he started whooping that boy ass. He, when he hit, he he started hitting like little spins with the damn. With the uh, tri I don't know if I can call it a trident because it had like five. And Jason Momoa even said like that's not his actual trident because he's not the king of Atlantis yet. So we had that, but he was going to work with Steppenwolf for the end. Then Wonder Woman goes, oh, it's just so much stuff, dog. It is so, it was so beautiful to me. I swear, that, that stuff was just so beautiful to me. Also, oh man, one of the funniest parts when Aquaman was sitting on the last of the truth and he just started telling everything about himself and nobody just, everybody just wanted to, damn, why is this man saying this? And Batman like, the last, dog, that is fucking, that was fucking priceless. Batman bringing in Lois Lane because listen, here's something I, I thought about 
like I want to say last night was do you guys remember the scene in BVS when Barry Allen went back in time and said you were always right she's the key that was foreshadowing for what happened today when Superman uh when when uh when Batman, when Superman came back and Bruce Wayne, what well, Batman knew to bring Lois Lane in to convince him. Nigga, that shit was, it makes so much sense now. You know what I'm saying? It makes so much sense. Now, um, that's that's pretty much the movie, if I'm being honest. Pretty much the movie. Let's get into the two post-credit scenes. And pro, well, mid the post-credit scene. Mid-credit scene first with The Flash and uh, Superman. Also, two other things. There was two times in the movie where I noticed Superman uh, mustache got CGI out of that was the very first image of the very first part of the movie when it came on. And she was like, uh, the kids asked, like, what do you like about Earth? He never asked the question. You could tell that was CGI. You could have just, you should have made it, like, to where, like, the kid was fumbling with his phone or just, or uh, scared to record just had it down or something like that. And that would have been good. I noticed that. And I noticed at the end when he raised Flash. Also, Barry Allen runs really weird, like, like he's always trying to throw something. I don't know if that's just how he's gonna do it or he's gonna do something different. Now, as far as like him trying to differentiate himself from the Flash from the TV show, that's cool. But you run it. You don't got to different. You don't got to change how you run. You can keep that the same. But that was a good scene because even though I think we pretty much all know if if you read, I think what was it? Uh, the new, Rebirth, New Fifty. I think it was a. It was a rebirth, uh, Jeff Johns Flash rebirth, that Superman was chasing uh, him at one point in time. Like, hey, you already, you already know, I, I can keep up with you. And he said, you know what? All those time I was just being generous, and he just boom, he just shot off on him because Flash is faster than Superman. Okay, you guys, it's just, it's just, it's just common truth. Okay. Uh, even if this is clumsy, and he was clum he was pretty clumsy. One time it, it one time it bothered me. One time it was like, yo, I don't need you to be clumsy right now. And I think that was towards the end with Batman and Satan. Other than that, it made sense because I the, the character. Uh what else? Oh yeah, the, the last post credit scene when they <sighs> opened up Arkham and they thought that he was in there. And I thought, honestly, me, when I seen it, I said, oh, my God, they recast uh, they recast Lex Luthor. Because I knew from the back of his head, I'm like, that's not just Eisenberg. I don't know how the fuck I know it's not him. Just from the back of his head. But I'm like, that's not just Eisenberg right there. And he turned around, it was just some guy. I was like, hold up. And you see the two, the, the, the twin blades in the back of his, back of his mask. And you, boy, what's his name? Joe Maganello? Looks fucking spectacular in Slade Wilson slash Deathstroke. Dog, dog, that shit looks so fucking. He looks dope as fuck. Like, man, don't be wasting my time. And it seemed like they kind of doing some course correction with Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. He's dressed in a suit. He looks all. From that little bit alone, I'm like, okay, we can do this now. Like, we can do this. Like, maybe we should get a league of our own. Could we be. Could we be Hinting at like a Legion of Doom. Now, if you think about it, technically, if you look at the Teen Titans, one of their main villains is Deathstroke. So I think you can have like a Deathstroke for a cyborg. Lex Luthor for Superman. You go, if you get Batman versus anybody, you know they're going with either the Joker. There are so many people you can get from that who would actually be willing to work with like a, a team of villains. Joker, you don't know if you really want him now because he's loose candy. But just think about the possibilities. Also, we we know that in Aquaman, or oh, uh, what's the name? Uh, 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 Aquaman's brother. Um, what? Um. Um, I can't think of his fucking name. That's who the villain is, but shit. I can't think of his fucking name for some reason right now. But think about it. For the Legion of Doom, you get Black Manta. Then, with Wonder Woman, there was... Artemis was in this movie. I don't think anybody noticed, but Artemis is in this movie. I think she's the blonde-haired girl. 
She's in this movie. I'm cool with bringing Artemis, or you can bring Cheetah, however you want to do it. I really would want to rather see Amazon versus Amazon. I want to see an Artemis in this in this monster, okay? I want to see, like, more story. You can give her a story, a Artemis a little story about, you know, you know, if you're familiar with the story of Artemis. You can have her or Cheetah. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, now, and, and that's it. And then when you have Shazam... You can also have bring in Black Adam. Like Justice League Two could be fucking oh my. Then what other movies do they have coming out between then? Uh, as far as new new people, I don't think anything. So, oh my god, I'm I'm happy where this is headed. I'm, I'm I love this past two movies. Well, I, I haven't really had a big problem with the DC as everybody else. But these two, these past two movies for sure for, for me were just like it's out of here. Knock, knocked it out the park. I enjoyed them. You gotta let me know what was your favorite part of Justice League? Which movie? What what solo movie has does Justice League make you the most hyped for? Also. Who do you think should be a part of the Legion of Doom? Answer either one of those three questions down in the comments. Hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching this video. I thank all my subscribers who tune in to watch my videos. I truly, truly appreciate that. Uh, I don't think I say that enough. Uh, and uh, appreciate it. Once again, peace out.